Growing up, I listened to mainly Southern gospel and country. So I started researching Neo Soul, Brian McKnight, Stevie Wonder, and I naturally gravitated towards that, man. I started singing it, and because it got me notoriety. People were actually paying attention to, to my songs and, and my singing. The artistic side of me, you know, that's finally coming, coming out. It's amazing that I get to do that. When I realized I was an artist when I, I won this contest called uh, Mid-Missouri Idol in 2005. I was like, all right, well, I think it's time for a move. I'd already been to LA. I didn't want to move to New York. I think every artist kind of outgrows their hometown. You can only do so much. Chris Hatfield, and this is The Experience. As far as being an independent artist, hitting the internet, Facebook, emailing, texting, calling, talking to people, just any time you get an opportunity to tell people about the show. And getting with the guys and figuring out different different things we can do in the show, like transitions, different uh, covers we can do, different ways to get the audience involved. CD that I'm promoting for this particular show is Born to Love You. But yeah, the songs I like best on this one, uh, Born to Love You, obviously, it's the title of the CD, title track. That always gets a pretty good reception. Um, and Take You Down Easy, it's because it's, you know, for the ladies. Um, I really like the Stevie, you being Stevie Wonder song. Uh, it's a tribute to him, because he's an influence of mine. Amazing musician. Stevie Wonder, you know to Nashville, I didn't know I'd meet people here that I, that would inspire me. Mike Hicks, he, he is such an inspiration. He's so talented. And Rick, my drummer, you know, just his, uh, his intensity and his drive, it just radiates. I met him when I first moved here. Heard him playing downtown, a second in commerce here in Nashville. I gave him my card and we were talking and stuff. I was like, man, I'd love to have you play for me. But I, I just give so much credit to him, man, because he, he really introduced me to all the cats that I'm playing with. Yo, that's They're amazing, and I meet new people all the time, you know, because Nashville's a crazy town, and a lot of the musicians, that's their job, is to do music and gig and play. So I've always got backups, you know, and I'm, I'm always meeting new people. I prepare for a show by rehearsing, making sure I know the songs frontwards, backwards, 
completely. Practice, practice, practice. I always get nervous, man, before shows. Just take long, deep breaths, man, and then I'm ready for the performance. So really, it's just rehearsing and breathing. Oh, 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 oh